Hey ladies, welcome back. This week I wanted to talk about life choices and being a perfectionist. My two little girls are seemingly like me where everything has to be perfect and this I fear is not going to help in the grand scheme of happiness. And why? Because it doesn't really matter if the flowers are set here as opposed to a little angled. For me, it might. For someone else, it might not. Well, they spend that extra few minutes changing it, making it perfect, worrying about it. Probably not. Is that less stress on their body? Probably so. So, I have been endeavoring not to make perfect decisions and making life so perfect. And being in a blended family, that is like thrown out the door as soon as you walk in. There is no perfect blended family, there is no perfect family, and there's no such thing as a perfect mom or a perfect wife or a perfect daughter or perfection in general. And when I was little, I was a gymnast, and I remember Nadia Comaneci getting 10 out of 10 and thinking, wow, if she can do it, I can do it. And do you know how hard that is? It is absolutely almost impossible. 10 out of 10 is pretty hard, and that's what I strive for. I strive for 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 in parenting, 10 out of 10 in co-parenting, 10 out of 10 in my blended family, 10 out of 10 in being the best wife, 10 out of 10 being the best team player, uh, and the list goes on and on and on. And those sort of not being able to accomplish that and getting the you know 100 out of 100 if you're adding all those 10s up can be very stressful. And one of my daughters is very focused on whatever she's doing for school for it to be absolutely perfect or she gets very flustered or frustrated because things aren't perfect. Now, I know that my children are modeled certain behaviors and that's what they emanate. And so I'm probably going to take the blame for this because I'm sure they've seen it over the last you know, six or three years that, you know, I've gotten frustrated because something wasn't done or perfectly uh, placed. And, and so I am doing my absolute best. And I have to tell you, this has relieved a huge burden off my shoulder. And I feel like there's, there isn't as much anxiety around. Okay. So, you know, I'm having a party and I have a bunch of moms and, and daughters coming and, uh, and, and it was fabulous, you know, the, the, the party was fabulous. But I was stressed about certain things and, you know, and really those little things didn't really matter. And my dad always used to say, don't sweat the small stuff. And I absolutely agree. Do not sweat the small stuff or do not strive to be a perfectionist. Just strive to do things well and the best that you possibly can. And sometimes you gotta let go. If you can't do it perfectly and it's a good job, then bravo for a good job done. But if you're actually always focused on being perfect or if you don't get it done your way or if people don't behave the way you want them to behave, just don't set this small stuff. Let it go. It doesn't really matter at the end of the day. If you recall, the last few videos I've done was the time frame in which we have to live, the years in which we're not sleeping or working or you know exercising or eating or grooming is about six years. Six years is not a lot of time and if you're spending minutes, multiple minutes, focused on things that have to be absolutely perfect, oh my god what a waste of those minutes and in those six years, my daughter's six, that went by like this. So my challenge to you is if you strive to be perfect or if you get frustrated because something's not going your way or if someone's not behaving your way or you know your kids aren't listening try to bring yourself back and just let it go just let it go you might take for example your your children or your friend or your boss or whoever and you might want to rebuttal or you might want to discipline or you might want to set in some consequences but just try 
to let it go, give a hug, give a smile, say I understand, no problem, and just walk away. And then take those few minutes where you would have had a struggle with yourself or somebody else and think, what am I gonna do with these few minutes? What can I do that's gonna make me happy? Anyway, I hope you like this video and these are just some small insights from how I'm learning and I'm learning still, uh, which is not what I thought when I was six. I would have thought I knew everything, but that's the whole part of learning. So hopefully us learning together has inspired you and if I can do it, then you can do it.